going on guys welcome back welcome back um third third part part three part trace it's late as fuck i don't know why i'm recording this this late but i am and uh we're calling member functions all right um I think this is gonna be broken down into kind of like two mini segments, All right? Hopefully uncut. But uh, first segment, we're gonna run through this code right here. Um, I have a very simple class. It has a single member, uh, a char pointer. It says hi. A simple function that c out string end out, right? Um, I have a pointer. All right to a target object in the global space why did I do this well to be honest with you it's kind of to emulate a lot of games a lot of games do this you'll usually find a uh, a static pointer somewhere in the game that's being passed around different objects and and that pointer is to a specific object that you wanna I don't know either hook one of its functions or call one of its functions and you need it to pass it into into the function for the this pointer right so that's what that is we're just gonna use that pointer and pass it into the function to call it right real simple stuff um in our main create an object assign the address of the object to our pointer get in our loop and do our thing um really quick I want to show you guys that's the end this call um if you need to look up more information about this call or again other calling conventions MSDN is a great source of information it's it tells you right here the this pointer is being passed via the ECX register and not on the stack and just like any other calling convention or most other calling conventions uh, I'm not familiar with any calling conventions that push from left to right but usually it's from right to left right so your first parameter is the last thing to be pushed onto the stack before the call is made cool <clears throat> All right, so time to get debugging. Uh, actually, what might be nice is if I run this piece of shit. Um, it works. Control F five or debug. Start without debugging. Um, by the way, make sure you're compiling in debug mode, right? Else, all these this class this function might just get optimized right the fuck away and you might just have a single call to see out inside of a little loop and it just won't work so we have this running cool let's attach member funky target that exc um hit f9 we're just gonna hit control G jump to the main and immediately you see call to get async key state look here's our fucking pointer dude that's our goddamn pointer if you double click on the instruction you see as you see it's a hard-coded address right it's hard-coded right into the uh, into the code hard-coded means it's coded right into the code you get whatever um so this is most likely a static pointer right this isn't this is part of the bytes you'll see it obviously flipped in endian zero zero uh c3 right jesus c3 b1 b1 3 3 you know, so again, I'm just trying to like get the point across. I, this is a static point, and we could refer to this address. Oh, 
hitting shit I'm not supposed to. We could refer to this address. And we should be okay. Um let's hop in here. Alright. First of all, let's assume we're the ignorant game hacker and this is our first time running through this. Oh, let me actually go back to main. So we'll take a look at how it's being called, right? We see this jump that jumps to this other jump and then it jumps right back up here. So we know this is part of the loop. We know nothing is being pushed onto the stack. The only thing we see here is the, this pointer being moved into ECX and then the function being called. This tells us it's void of parameters. It's a this call, right? Well, we're not 100% certain, but we can be relatively certain, almost 100% certain, certain <laughs> that this is a this call just because of this this setup right here the pointer into ECX right and I don't see any any movement with the east with the EAX register which is usually what's being used to return information from a function so void void right it's just a simple simple function no parameters, no return. Plus, we wrote the code, so we know. All right, so let's let's start. Let's start up a new project. Let's start working on our on our little hack. Uh, member <clears throat> member caller. Next. Not a console project. Not what we don't. Nope. Nope. Template, template, member caller. All right, again, I'll upload the code. So you guys should have my template anyways, if you've been following along with any of the uh, previous tutorials. And again, it's not like, it's a fucking dope ass code or anything, it's really simple shit. All right, so while not get async keys, all right <clears throat> let's set up our function prototype type def void this call pointer <clears throat> funk for function we know it didn't have any parameters so that's that oh you know what? just because uh, I don't like the underscore in the rest of my code I use it to set up the objects but I don't like having to you know do that like in my code now that looks kind of ugly if I have to do it in a cast or, or something like that that's fine but uh, I don't know um all right we have the pointer well i guess we can set it up here board pointer <coughs> um un pointer base cool all right so we have our function prototype, right? We have our function object, uh, function pointer object, or whatever the fuck this is set up. Right? Uh, we don't. We haven't given it its address, right? So if we call it now, we'll just fucking crash because we're basically uh, telling the instruction pointer to go to some place that doesn't even fucking exist. All right, we have our this pointer. Like I said, it was a static pointer. 
in our game, quote unquote. So we're just gonna use that. It doesn't have to be global. You could set it up in a in a struct or you know what? You know what? That's what we're gonna do. That's what we going to do. Alright. Now, trust me, trust me. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Get a sink state. Alright. So. Ba -da -da -da. Actually, this is all fucking wrong. This is all wrong. Wrong as fuck. Like I said, a disk call always takes in a parameter. Even if it's void of parameters, it's always going to take a parameter. And that's this point. Right? And we have to set up this we'll do that right here er. <clears throat> see that's why I uh, kind of did it like that so this whole little setup here, what all this is about is if you have a few uh, member functions that aren't virtual functions, you could always set up like a little struct like this. If they're virtual functions, you could just use a reclass and just set up the uh, the pointer names or whatever. Or you could probably do it like this, but I don't know. This is just one way to skin the cat, I guess. But you could, you could set up a struct and you could just refer to it like if it was your own object, you know? So it's pretty, pretty cool. And uh, what are we doing? We're doing, we're casting. You have to do it like this, right? You cast it into the object type. We're doing base plus whatever the fuck the offset is. What's the offset? Copy RBA and then to that, right. and that should be it. The last thing should be calling. Right, this this is kind of fucking redundant, but I don't know keeps it organized I guess you could you couldn't name this anything else sometimes like in my serious Sam hack I have a uh, pointed to a draw port so I have a PE draw port right naming convention is up to you it's not what this is about god damn it let's compile let's inject with this piece of shit here Member, the fuck did I call it? My member funky target. And cross our fingers. Hopefully, is this the one? Oh, what the fuck is that? I don't fucking look right. Oh, you know what? We can set up a breakpoint. <laughs> Alright. Is this uh is this where I need to be? Yes, yes it is. <clears throat> Alright, so we're calling the function. We're passing something into ECX. I, that's I believe it's wrong. 
you know, because if we were to press that, hope we seem okay. I pressed one, All right? And um, yeah, we seem fine. Now, if I press three, we don't seem fine. We don't seem fine at all. Member funky target that ah following dump perfect well not perfect this is all wrong but it gives me a chance to kind of like you know break down a simple issue and show the solution this is just because I uh, I gave a pointer I, f I fed in a pointer when um, See. Oh, what the fuck? Why is that still on there? Um, whatever. We're just gonna restart this shit. I'm really fucking tired. I don't even feel like thinking. Close that. Member caller. Cool. Um, we could do one of two things. We could add an asterisk here. And here, and basically, what this tells the compiler is that this address is actually pointing to what we want to store into this, right? So it's a void pointer, pointer, right? Oh shit! And you get what I mean? It's the object that this is pointing to is a void pointer, right? So it's a void pointer pointer, and we're dereferencing it to get the void pointer and storing it in p this. That's what we were supposed to do from the motherfucking get. All right, so let's try this again. Inject. Um, let's hit F. I mean, one and three, and it works, right? Obviously, it works because we're spamming this shit because I don't have the N1 in here. And, yeah. So, that's that. And I'm going to take a little break. And fucking got to love movie magic, right? So, I fixed up this, uh, this target class, right? I have a constructor. Okay. Um... There's no default constructor now, right? Since we specified that this is the constructor for this class, we have to use this, right? Um, a simple function that prints out these data members separated by this fucking bullshit. We do our thing. We call the function, create our object. This is very simple code, right? Just check it out. Cool. Uh, you know what? Actually, it was the last thing I ran, so I could just hit this play button, and it'll run it. Um, play, 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 play. Let's see. Go to our main. And all right, this is our function called da 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 da. Now. We are actually going to call the constructor this time to create our own object. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. So, what do we have to do? Um, let's check it out. Let's check it out. We see ECX. We see push5. We see push string. Right, it's pushing a string. Um, we see bullshit, and uh, let's check it out. Let's go into the constructor. All right, this is all pretty much bullshit. If you could somehow 
execute the constructor, which is kind of what I'm going to do right now. Not that you have to, because if you also, um, if you also just pop this bitch open in Ida, where the fuck is Ida? Ida, you bad bitch. Um, yeah, member funky target. Okay, no. Um, nope. So, um, in Ida, the module, right, or the program gets loaded at a uh, four flat, right? So, a thousand bytes less than this. So, what you have to do if, right, this right here won't exactly work. If I press Alt Insert to copy the address <coughs> and go to Ida and hit G, press Control V, paste in that address, hit OK. You'll see down here, Command Jump Ask Failed. All right. What you have to do is instead come down here, copy the RVA, and I believe if it's in another module, you'll, I don't know, you might have to do a different calculation. I'm not too sure. You might not. But we're going to hit G. Right. You'll see here the image base is four, four flat. All right. And that's pretty awesome because I didn't even know you could fucking do that. I highlighted this. Holy shit. This is I just learned this. And if you highlight that and press G, you get this. And if you add the offset, you get bullshit. All right? You get absolute bullshit. But if you just put a 4 in front of it, you you get you get to where you need to be. Alright, so this is our class constructor. Uh, hit the F5 on it. This pointer. The fuck is this? It's not returning anything. I mean, I could tell that because in the um, in the calling code, right? So in main, they move one into EAX, and besides, this jump right after the loop is right below the call, so nothing's being done with EAX. I uh, don't think. If I hit Y, I could change the uh, the signature, including the return type. Which I don't think it's any. Alright, so the, this pointer. Usually in in a game, the this pointer, well, you like if you dereference the this pointer. You'll get the address of the of its of the virtual method table for that class, right? Which is shared amongst all objects of that class, right? Which it's gonna be more uh, relevant when and if more likely when I cover uh, virtual method table hooking, which isn't isn't hard. I I think I might. Combine a virtual method table and uh, what's it called? Import address table hooking all in one tutorial. Sounds like a good idea. But either way, the um, int and int a three 
3. But I know that to, bu, bu, bu. if I hit asterisk on the numpad, I think, while I, I'm clicking this pane, right? That gives me bullshit. And I'm running and I fuck shit up. And I guess that's only for the stack. Either way. Um, do I have a breakpoint set? I don't have a breakpoint set. I've just been talking all this shit. Oh yeah, I forgot. I just opened it up in Ida. And anyways. Yeah, we see that a fucking... Here, let me see. Uh, let me rename this to... P this... This is the first data member. And this is obviously the second data member, right? And they just happen to be point a pointer to a char or a char pointer is a four byte data type. Right? The same as an int. That that's why it, it reads both of these as an int, but we know better. We can see from the if we uh press restart here, dum dum see from the constructor. Da, 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 that's all trash yada 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 uh ecx bum ba, ba, bum eax what's this that's gonna probably gonna be the address where we store all of our shit evp into ecx five all right so this is an argument being passed into the register ecx and from ecx is being passed into the first data member Right of our object. Boom. And then whatever the f I guess it's loading the uh, yeah it's loading this shit back into EAX, which might as well be a no op, you know. Like might as well. I'm not gonna do that though. I don't even know why I right clicked and got that far. Um. All right, so in uh, EBPC or EBP plus C, we have the string high, and we're moving that into ECX, or rather the pointer to the string high. Move that into ECX and move ECX into EAX plus four. This is just EAX and EAX plus four. And again, the brackets means it's a pointer, and we're gonna move it into this little thingamabobber right there as soon as we hit FA and execute, and we get high in the object, and that's the constructor, right? So we know we have two data members in our in our object here. We could actually just hop. Um, so we know the first one was a number, we know the second one was a char pointer, right? And we just basically reclassed our, our object ourselves. Because they're fucking dope like that. That's important because we need a uh, a proper container to store all of the information that the constructor is going to populate. You get what I mean. <clears throat> now. Our class isn't going to have a constructor because we're going to call it void uh, this call pointer um, class tor void pointer p this. And all right, so we have that. 
we have that. We need this, right? You guys should be used to this already. Uh, UN pointer. Um. Right. Copy the RBA again of the constructor. Right. Um, class C tour equals cast it into the object base plus the RVA <coughs> and ch -ch 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 -ch. what are we doing? What are we doing? Yes, class. address of Vic right this is basically telling us that we're passing the address of Vic right we're placing that into ECX and we're calling the constructor right the constructor is a self modifying function so this object right that we declared up here that we have access to that we have basically complete control over and I'm missing parameters here <laughs> just talking all this shit but uh yeah this object that we have control over we'll be able to modify data members we'll be able to pass it to other functions so on and so forth anyways we know that the constructor took two parameters if so much let's just get out of here see if we can all right perfect so again let's restart jump jump like I said before <clears throat> the first parameter was pushed last so it's gonna be closest up to the top when you look at the stack, it looks kind of intuitive, actually, right? Because the first parameter is up at the top, the second is the second. But when you're looking at, when you're looking at it in the disassembly, it's it's backwards. You just always have to make sure you remember that. But uh, either way, the first parameter was the integer, and the second parameter was the the char pointer. And um. String, right other than that not too much is different perfect seems appropriate and what else do we have to do I guess we have to call the actual function right the one that prints out to the screen to see if we actually know what we're doing. Um, so we'll place a, a breakpoint right here. Again, we know pretty much what we're dealing with. Now we're just calling another class function, right? <coughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Let's type def. Void this call pointer uh, bunk All right. and what the fuck is wrong with me? Let's go over here. Get the RBA. Copy that. Come to
funk equals that. Plus that. And then we come over here. We give it the address of Vic again. All right. Building. Disable that breakpoint just because I know it's going to be a little bitch. All right, so that's that, and that's that's fucking that, All right? And um, yeah, I think that concludes it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I know, I'm pretty sure, I said we were going to do hooking in this in this tutorial but I don't think we are I think that could be a, a thing in a, on its own I might do like a little series on hooking if you guys would be into that you know just uh, VMT IAT uh, and just all around <clears throat> function and like some mid function hooking if you guys want to see that um yeah i think that's about it appreciate it you guys stay tuned take it easy